gunmen who adopted Major Stephen Dantank from the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA, Afaka Kaduna, on Tuesday, have demanded a ransom of 200 million naira from military authorities. Hmm. The gunmen invaded the Afaka barracks of the academy around 1 a.m., killing two soldiers. One of the officers who was injured in the attack is currently being treated at a hospital within the barracks. According to FIJ, the bandit subsequently contacted the Defense Academy to in, initiate negotiation on the payment of ransom to secure the release of Stephen. The gunmen reportedly operated for hours and left without any hindrance. They could not kill even one of them, an NDA source lamented to FIJ. They searched everywhere in the bush, but could not find them. They had fled away with their motorbikes. They have called to ask for 200 million naira to free the major. The source also said, the attack was ridiculous. They came, tested up and left. Even the helicopter wavering in the bush could not track them. After the attack, Baish Jari Jarira, the spokesman of the NDA in Kaduna, said the security architect of the NDA was compromised by unknown gunmen who gained access into the residential area within the academy in Afaka. During the unfortunate incident, we lost two personnel and one was adopted, he said. The academy, in collaboration, with the one division nigerian army and Air training command as well as other security agencies in kaduna state have since commenced pursuit of the unknown gunmen within the general area with a view to uh, tracking them and rescuing the adopted personnel he has said and they continue planning for 2023 <laughs> election a country without army and no proper functional institution. Wala, not be wala with this. This is a very big slap to Nigerian army. Terrorists invaded their barracks, adopted a major. <laughs> where can where can someone say this thing out? We urge all the Nigerian military forces to become and law-abiding citizens. They should go about all their normal businesses and not be distracted for fears, non-fear, or as we, the civilians, are on top of the situation now. We do all it takes within our power to make sure those bandits are bring to book and prosecuted accordingly. We are not going to pay any ransom to any, any of them. These are Nigerians reacting. It is not a national disgrace, rather a brotherly handshake since they are not called by their proper name, but they are busy forcing and rehabilitating the, them. If such can happen to our military personnel, it is a wake-up call for a complete overall retraining and equipping of our national security system. The change we can see, it has never been had head of in this country the kidnapping of military officers the president and the senate president are always surprised business continues it is not a nation disgrace so what makes them special when others are being kidnapped without any solution sooner or later now these bandits will be given like will be forgiven like they did they did not do anything May God intervene in our situation because nobody is safe again. And our leader thinks nothing wrong by not protecting us, which is part of their duty. All right, people are still saying it's not a national disgrace, so that it is a disgrace to the North who said they are born to rule. For the past six years, there, are, there is nothing the North is contributing to the Federation account for the prosecution of law against Boko Haram and the bandit terrorist groups. Another armed group carrying long 
bread have grouped in Zamfara state. This is a faith government. All right. I believe you want to say bread. All right. Someone said that yeah, bandits are doing their normal businesses. So unless we start telling ourselves the truth. Insecurity will not stop in this country. May God help us all. It would have been a normal, a national disgrace, so to say, if the fight against insurgency were a sincere one. This is a ring game, but at the expense of hopeless, helpless souls. They are only requesting for just 200 million naira for a whole major in Nigerian army. If I am in, in their position, I will request for the budget of the year. After all, the beneficiaries of insecurity were, were all present in Kano over the weekend to jollificate with their able president. I like the fact that the bandit did not have known leader and identify which someone can engage to discuss them. They are all foreigners and I don't have house address, community, state and local government to trace. Nigerian Taliban are winning the war. This is good for them, he said. <laughs> oh my God. So guys, this are Nigerians' reactions to this. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share with us your thoughts on this. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Bye for now.